Hi everyone, so I have come on to do a quick video about what I got for Christmas. I have had a few people asking over on my Instagram and things, so I'm going to do a video just to show you guys what I got. I didn't get a lot for Christmas, although this, this is actually still quite a lot, don't get me wrong, um, and I'm super grateful for my family doing this for me, um, but the majority of what I got for Christmas this year was money. Um, I just feel like I'm an, at an age now where <laughs> I don't really know what I want anymore, but whatever. But a lot of my family knew that I am going away in January. Um, I'm going like on a long weekend trip. I think I filled you all in on Instagram and everything anyway. Um, most of you know I, I am going to Latvia. So a lot of my family just give me some money to go towards that, which I'm super grateful for. So yeah, this video is just going to show you what... I got for Christmas so I'm literally just in front of the Christmas tree here um doing it all but yeah so I'm gonna dive straight in so over here we have this gorgeous little hamper um set now this is actually off my two children um it is so cute I'm so so happy that I got this they all know I love sweets I love smellies um, so in this hamper, there's like M&Ms, there's a couple of body sprays, there's some Hello Pandas, which I absolutely love these. Where there's originals, which me and my dad absolutely love. Then we have some face masks at the front, which again, I love. Then they got me this Black Addiction perfume. This is just kind of like an inspired one, but this is really nice. This is from Body Care, I think it is. And it's actually an 80ml perfume, so it's a really, really big size. But this is a copy of YSL Black Opium. I have had it before and it is really nice as an everyday perfume. And then if I swing this around here, there's some matchmakers, there's some quality street. There's some of these kind of, um, like I think they're by Forever Roche, but they're the Raffaello ones. Um, but can I just take a moment to appreciate how cute they actually have this looking i'm so so honestly i'm so proud of my boys and i'm so grateful that they did that for me so i absolutely love that so that is what i got from the boys i also got this little lush set from the boys as well um this like i laughed when i pulled this out of the bag because it's called the sleepy bear set and lately this has literally just been me i've been doing nothing but sleep um i've been really really lacking in energy and everything i've had to actually go to the doctors and get bloods and things done just in case i am anemic because i do have a history of that um but yeah i just thought they couldn't have picked a better set that is definitely me like mama sleepy bear i absolutely love it but in this you can see you have 100 grams sleepy bubble bar 95 grams sleepy bear bath bomb 100 grams of twilight shower jelly and 200 grams the twilight bath bomb so the cutest little set i love these sets anyway and um, but how cute is the wrapping on this this year um in my past videos you will see that i used to do the lush sales and things i didn't get to it this year just not in the right frame of mind or anything um, so I'm so happy that I did manage to get some Lush for Christmas. So yeah, love that. Then I also got gifted this huge bottle of Snow Fairy. You all know Snow Fairy is my absolute favourite. This is the gigantic, it's so heavy. This is the gigantic one kilogram bottle. Um, you know that this stuff, oh, absolutely love it. One of my absolute true, true favourites. Love that. I'm just going to move some of these along as we go. Um, I'll pull this forward because this is really really heavy then the next thing I got is this Yankee Candle Home Inspiration this is like a um, like a candle set Um, it's Spring Summer Collection 2022 I did know about this because I did pick this out myself Um, but yeah this was like £20 in Tesco on one of their special buys with your club card so they had this one and then they had a winter set one I didn't like the scent in the winter set so I did stick to the spring summer collection but as you can see down here you have a little votive in the scent vanilla frosting I don't like these votives like this what I do is I cut them up and I put them into a wax warmer I think you get more scent and things from them as opposed to just burning them like this then we have a medium jar in the scent mango lemonade absolutely stunning a large jar in coral peony this one smells so so nice as well like i say i did definitely prefer this set over the winter set 
um, and then we have a small jar in the scent island blooms again this is such a fresh and clean scent love it and then we have another little votive in the scent fairy floss so that is the collection and for a large jar a medium jar a small jar and two votives for 20 pound literally cannot go wrong so like i say i did know that i was getting that i picked that for a gift um for myself and then obviously my family member just give me the money for it so that is that then i also got gifted this gorgeous um victoria secret set um i'm trying to get it so you can see it that's it it's a set of four of their body sprays so we have victoria secret love heavenly bombshell and teas how cute is the packaging as well i'm a sucker for cute packaging absolutely love it i think it is so so gorgeous um and i always use body sprays and things these are great size as well to just throw in a handbag when i'm on the go or just leaving the car or anything so love that next up i have got two pairs of these velvet plush leggings from primark these are the fur lined ones so if i show you guys here if i can you can see inside the furry so i got the plain black pair and then i got this pair which is supposed to kind of look like denim jeans um the reason that i know that these are in two different sizes i got small to medium in these and medium to large in these they never had a smaller size in the black um so we just kind of grabbed the medium and large and we're just going to hope for the best anyway they're just leggings aren't they i'm sure i can kind of like roll them over and things but the main reason that i bought these is for my trip to latvia i'm seeing the main reason that i bought them the main reason i got them for christmas i just kind of tell people what i would like now um obviously some things are surprises but i did ask specifically for some things to go to latvia i don't know if anyone's aware of the weather in latvia latvia but i've been checking it and the weather is absolutely bollock so i heard everyone raving about these fleece line leggings so i thought i'm gonna have to get some of them to go away with so i've got those as well um to go alongside that i got some gorgeous leather gloves as well these are really, really like i have slim hands don't mind this i've took a chunk of skin out of my uh, finger there i have really slim hands so often when i try leather gloves and things they're just like absolute boats on me but these fit perfect so i got those love them i'm gonna hope that they keep my hands warm then another um actually i'll keep those till last so <coughs> then i got vans if you've been on my channel for a while you all know that i absolutely love vans i've got a huge collection of them in all different colors that you can imagine but i've never had the original black pair so that is what i got um absolutely love vans they're so comfortable to go with anything i can literally wear vans with no socks or anything on and they do not give me blisters or anything at all i'm a huge vans fan absolutely love them just classics and like i say um classic black color so it will go with absolutely anything so that is my new pair of vans there then this i'm just going to try and position it so this is kind of like a little hold all bag and again i specifically asked for this i did get this off my sister um, along with the vans i got the vans off my sister as well so this is a hold all so it's just black you have the gray kind of straps you've got a little zip here on the front which is not massive you can probably keep passports or paperwork or something in um and then inside this is what it's like inside it does come with a shoulder strap but i specifically asked for this bag it is from amazon and i specifically asked for this because this is the exact dimensions of what you are allowed your free bag to be on a ryanair flight this is all i am taking to latvia this is the only bag i haven't paid extra for a case or anything and um, we actually got our flights for like 52 or 53 pounds return to latvia so literally you would spend more on a night out on town so we got really really good flights and the times are excellent as well um so yeah this is going to be my travel bag and i think once it's packed out i mean i've watched tiktoks and everything on this bag and it just seems the perfect thing bearing in mind i'm only going for um well it's like 
I go on the Thursday and I come back on the Sunday. So yeah, I've got like four days there. Um, three nights, four days. So I cannot wait to get packing on that. If you guys do want to see what I pack to take to Latvia, comment below and I will do a video on it. I know I said that I was going to do that in Turkey, but by the time everything got sorted, I never had time. But this is literally only hand luggage. It's not suitcases and everything. So I'll happily do a video on that if you want to see what I'm going to pack for basically four days away in a foreign country. So that was that. Then these are the two things I did know that I was getting as well. God, they are absolutely covered in dog hair. My dog is just molten everywhere. But I did specifically ask for these as well. And these are from a website called Saramart. It basically sells kind of designer inspired items. Um, I'd seen it all over TikTok and things. And I thought, you know what? I really, really want to try it out. So these next two things that I picked up, I did get from there. So first one is this Ugg hat. I have loads of hats. If you know me, you know I love a bobble hat. Um, but I thought I'd get like a branded one this time. Um, and the quality of this is absolutely amazing. This hat was only, I think it was less than £10, you know. Um, so I got that again. I'm going to take it to Latvia. It's absolutely Baltic over there. And to go with that, I did get, like, I've already worn these. So please excuse, like, the dirt on them. They are really, really muddy. But I did get these kind of ultra mini Ugg boots as well. Um, these are the softest things ever. These were, I think these were like £23. And honestly, I've looked online. When these first come, I thought, oh, they're so fake because inside's cream here where the rest of it's black no 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 the originals have the cream bit inside as well so I thought oh very nice but I've had a look even like the soles and everything the Ugg um like label on the back excuse the mud like I say I have worn them a good few times now they literally look identical to the original ones which are like over a hundred pound so I got these um absolutely love these I've literally lived in them since Christmas day um I have them on all the time. They are so, so comfortable. Keep your feet really, really warm as well. I don't think I'm going to take these. I would love, I would actually love to take these and wear these around Latvia. But I just think if it's going to be wet and snowy, these are not going to keep my feet um, like warm and dry. So as much as I love them, I don't, I don't think I'm going to take them to Latvia. But that was the idea of it. But because the weather's changed, I don't think I'm going to. I do have some other boots here to show you that I think I'm going to be taking to Latvia. I don't know. So basically, that was what I got for Christmas. Um, I did also say, obviously, I got given money as well. Um, if you've watched my past Christmas hauls, you'll know that I do genuinely tend to get money for Christmas as well. And I'm super grateful for it. I'm just going to push these to the side because I'm going to bring a couple of other things in to show you. So where do I start? Um... Yeah, I'll just show you the boots first. So I used some of my Christmas money and goodness gracious me, I can't even get them out of the bag. Basically, I went to, is it Deich, Deichmann? Deichmann? I don't really know how to say it. And I bought two pairs of boots because, obviously, like I say, the weather in Latvia and things, I needed something more warm and waterproof. So these are what I picked up. I don't know if I'm keeping any of them. I've tried them on. Um, one of them's really, really soft, but it does hurt on the back of the ankle. I don't know whether it's just a case of kind of wearing them in the house for a week or so with really thick socks just to try and wear them in. But I'll just show you guys anyway. So the first pair that I picked up is just like a bike boot. This, this material here is so soft. They're not leather. I did want leather, but I didn't like any of the leather ones that I've seen. These, each of these boots were only £35 each. Um, these are really, really soft. I love the style of it. It's just plain. It's clean. It's classy. It has the zip down the side so you don't have to mess about with the laces. But the problem I'm having with these is this back bit is hurting. Um, this does feel quite solid on the back here. There's not much kind of give in that. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows if anything to try and soften shoes or anything up, let me know. Um, otherwise, if I, if I can't kind of um, get them to soften up or be a bit nicer on my feet, then I think I'm probably going to have to return them. And then that leaves me with the dilemma of oh, what the hell boots am I going to wear for... Latvia so that was that pin if anyone's interested that 
is what it is there i don't think it actually says a name on but it does have a number on so if anyone's interested in those that is the number on there so that was the first set and then i got a second set and again kind of like the same like type of biker boot if you wish but this has got like a little bit of like a pattern here and um, these feel i mean they, they are still soft bearing in mind they're not leather um, but they are still soft, but these have like a bit of like a bit more kind of fancy buckle bits on. Again, still same zip down the side, but I'm just having the same issue with these. They just feel really hard and I need something that is going to be super comfortable on my feet. Like I say, I really wish I could just take my Uggs and I would just wear them for the full um like four days that i was there but i'm just worried in case it's like really snowy and slushy and things and my feet don't stay warm so i did buy those two with my christmas money like i say i am gonna have to kind of wear them in i'm probably gonna wear them in in the house just in the house um with some thick socks probably just for the next week to see if they do soften up if they're not they're gonna have to go back um again this is the number of this one if you did like the style of this one so yeah i'm a little bit kind of mm, panicky at the moment about what i am going to do for footwear to go away but i'm sure we'll get there anyway so i'll just chuck that to the side and then i did also spend some of my christmas money in dun 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 the bath and body works semi-annual sale how amazing we actually have a Bath and Body Works store in the Metro Centre. Obsessed. So when I was out and I seen that they had a sale, I obviously had to go in. I didn't pick up a great deal, but wait till I tell you in a second. So I'll just pull out what I got. I only got four things from there and I do have the receipt here, so I will be able to tell you the prices. So basically... I was super excited that we do have a store and everything. I've got some of the price stickers on the back here. Um, that we do now have a Bath and Body Works store because you all know that I love it and I've never been able to get it. So I've always had to kind of get it to me from the US via swaps or paying, like things like that. So I'm absolutely buzzing that we do have one in the UK. When we went, the shop was like, it was so confusing. Like it had big signs of saying 60% off, 40% off, like typical sale signs and everything. But stickers like these kind of stickers but only on certain products so i was having to kind of like ask every product that i was picking up is this in the sale is this in the sale is this in the sale it just got a bit like overwhelming so that's not my only complaint <laughs> so anyway yeah nothing was priced up properly i didn't like it when i go into a sale i want to know what's in the sale and what's not nine times out of ten i'm not going to buy something that's full price i'd rather wait until it's in the sale so yeah they definitely needed more stickers on all of the products that were in the sale because it was just hella confusing it literally did my head in so anyway all of these were in the sale so i'm going to tell you what i paid for them so we'll start with these two okay so these two are like from a set it's winterberry wonder so i got the fine fragrance mist and i got the ultimate hydration body cream okay so on these the i'm trying to work out on the bcc of what was what bath and body works body lotion body cream body cream okay so yeah so this was eight pound this was eight pound this other one was six pound iced raspberry bellini i love the packaging on that as well so amazing and then this body lotion was six pound so six pound six pound eight pound and eight pound okay you probably think amazing because they are originally how much are they originally i think i think the mists and things are originally like 16 pound i think the creams are like whatever you you know the price of bath and body works anyway so i thought great i've got all these four products and they come to 28 pound okay 28 pound for these four products buzzing came home was super excited thought yes i've got some things from the bath and body Works sale i've saved a fortune absolutely not i then went on to the next website this these 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 four pound and three pound i could not believe it i've paid literally eight pound eight pound six pound six pound these are like three pound on the next website 
these are four pounds some of these are five but um, some of these you can get for four pound as well all different scents and things these two on the next website are cheaper than what i paid in store again the same with this one this i paid six pound for on the next website i'm sure it's only three pound so i was really really annoyed like i was thinking how on earth can they get away with that it's literally the same you can see next i've still went into the next store and paid for these but on the next website they're so much cheaper so anyway i've let it slide I've done a massive Bath and Body Works online order from Next. Um, like, and I mean huge. I've used my Christmas money and I've bought loads of different scents. I thought, my God, this is the first time I've been able to get Bath and Body Works in the UK. And it's on a ridiculously priced sale. So so yeah a huge sale on the next online website if you do want to see a haul just comment down below let me know and i will do that for you and yes that is everything i got for christmas i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one thanks so much for watching and yeah bye